who's the prince of guessing 3D prints? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. If there's anything we've learned in 2020, it's that if you can dream it, you can 3D print it. And while most of my dreams are actually the same nightmare where I read fan fiction about me doing unnatural things to natural peanut butter, most of the time that means people are 3D printing some really cool stuff. And it's mesmerizing to watch this stuff being created right in front of your eyes. So today yeah. we're gonna play a game to see who can more quickly guess what's being 3D printed. It's time for <laughs> Mystery Countdown Theater 3D Printing Edition. All right, so first we wanna give a shout out to our new friend friend Joel, he is the creator of the YouTube channel Wild Rose Builds and on his channel, Joel's got an insane collection of 3D printed time-lapse videos and he was kind enough to let us make a game out of the builds for the videos that we haven't seen for today's episode. So Joel's doing great work over there. Yeah, Joel. So please check out his channel Wild Rose Builds. It's wild, it's rose, it it's builds. builds. Okay, so we're gonna watch time-lapse videos of some 3D projects being printed, uh -huh. uh, or just objects, not projects. I mean, they might be a project, we'll but they're project. just an object. Kind of uh, like, our, like how rappers do these days. Yeah, it's a project. And then we're gonna race to try and correctly guess what that thing is before the other guy. You're the other guy. And, You're but I'm the also other guy. the other guy. Yeah. Once the video starts, the point value will count down incrementally as the object is being printed. And if you buzz in first and guess correctly, you get however many points are left on the countdown, but if you get it wrong, the other person gets a chance to buzz in and guess. And the winner gets to give a time-lapse kiss to the loser. I don't know exactly what that's gonna be, but as previously discussed and established for formats like this, the winner gets to decide exactly that's how to right. do it. No With questions No input asked. from the loser. The other guy doesn't get to say anything. The other guy says nothing. Even if he's dressed like Eddie Vedder. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness. What in the that world? Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, Link. oh man, I saw talons. Crap, is it a? It's gonna be something a, with talons. It's an owl? Correct. Yo! Yeah! Whoa! The internet loves owls. Hold on, so you recognize I. owl feet. Yeah, man. Last night, we were sitting outside at my house, uh, my whole family, and I heard an owl hoot. And I was like, I heard that owl hoot last night too. There's a new owl in our neighborhood, and every time it hooted, I'd have to stop the conversation and make everybody listen. And everybody started being like, Dad, it's an owl. You never heard an owl hoot? I was like, no, never from this close. <laughs> then I started Hold doing on. this. You're taking a lot of time to talk about your owl story when I think everyone is mesmerized that you recognize owl talons. I, ha I have a kindred spirit. It's an owl. <laughs> Let's move on. I, that's gonna be a tough deficit to come back from. <laughs> oh, oh, you right. trying hard now. Dinosaur. Incorrect. Damn it! <laughs> okay. It does look like a dinosaur. Uh, a, uh, oh, okay, gosh. okay. I think this is Godzilla. Godzilla. Correct. <laughs> Woo! Look at how it's printing. I, how is it printing? 3D. What? Where is the stuff that's printing it? Uh, I believe that he must take that out. Oh, that's how it works. It's called time lapse. Nice, Joel. Dang, Link. 15 yeah. to nothing, I yeah. just know. There's no way I could come back at this point, I'm so sad. You know what'll make you feel better? A time-lapse kiss. Oh gosh, uh, not yet, not yet. Let's see, let's see, let's see another one. I gotta be quick, but I gotta be right. Oh, it's amazing how this thing just comes out of nothing. Oh, this is, this is weird. Uh, what is that? Oh my gosh, I can't. I don't even know how to take it in at this point. Uh, Link. Um, uh, uh, it's a bad guy from a cartoon. Um, uh, I don't know, Emperor Palpatine. It, it, <laughs> oh. oh. Rhett. It's Baby Yoda. Dang it. Heck yeah it is. My brain was telling me Star Wars. But only, it's, uh, but only my two, heart was Only two engaged. points, only two points. Look, he's sleeping, Baby Yoda sleeping. It looked kind of creepy without the uh, the colored in eyes there. Well, I think his, his eyes are closed. That's what I choose to believe. You think his eyes just aren't? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sleeping, man. Yeah, he's sleeping, he's, you know, he's once cute you, again. Once you force levitate like a huge creature, you get exhausted for like. Right. A, I noticed a few, that. A few episodes. Next. It's 
really, Square. It's really mesmerizing how this works. I'm going out on a limb. Uh, what? Yeah. Washington Monument. <laughs> that's, not, that, that's not even the right dimension, I gotta, man. I gotta try something. There's no way I can come back and unless a, I get a lucky. smushed <laughs> Washington Monument. Incorrect. All right, let me, let me elongate my lead here. Yeah. I'm still getting nothing. I mean, it's a tall stand. Say Washington Monument. What is that? Oh, it's getting bigger now. Oh gosh. Uh, Link. A giant spoon? It's a giant spoon. Incorrect. Oh! I got a chance to get some points. Okay. Uh, oh, giant spork. Correct. <laughs> and actually, so Joel printed some custom things for us. Uh, so not only, I'm sorry, Rhett, to say it is Link at that, those points, but he also gets a bonus <laughs> point for this one. I and mean, we have the thanks. actual thing. Thanks, Joel. Look at that. Hold on, so this is the size of that. I was picturing it uh, like seven I... feet tall. Like yeah. my my I my yeah. whole once you said watching the monument. Uh and what if when I dropped it it would have broken? That would have been pretty tragic. Now, you know what? In honor of my huge historic lead. This is historic. I I would like to donate this in the honor of my huge historic lead, which I'll probably blow somehow, let's be honest. <laughs> I hope so. Um to the mythical kitchen set. I think that that's where this thing belongs. Oh, I thought you were going to give it to me. I mean, to no, be clear, not we that I want it. You know, we were just showing you that, oh. and then we were going to put it in the kitchen. But also, yeah, sure, yes. I want it to be there in honor of my huge historic lead, yes, which yes. I will inevitably blow by the end of this episode. Great. Yeah, understood. Let's keep the rounds coming so I have a chance. Oh, okay. This is another creature. Red. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a specific guess. Uh. Oh gosh, what is this? That's uh, a squirrel, y'all. What? Oh, oh, Link. oh, Pikachu. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Now, okay, let's see the rest of this thing being printed. Oh, he's a very appalled Pikachu. And I probably wouldn't have gotten that at this point. How do you? I would have said Pokemon. How would you describe the 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 hand feel of this material? Oh, I'm allowed to touch it. It's very light. Um. Plastic. It's textured because of how it's printed. Textured plastic. It's like textured for like plastic pleasure. I like it. I, you know what, don't put it on the set now. I wanna actually eat with that. He just ruined it for everybody. Look how it catches the light. Okay, 20 point, 20 point deficit. I'm just gonna continue to guess early, that's my only chance. Oh, this is the long one. Red. Okay. Sphinx. Uh, Correct! Yeah! <laughs> I, I knew it was the Sphinx, just for the record. Man, that is cool looking. Wow, okay. About, if I had one of these as a kid. Hold on, those legs are big, Joel. <laughs> Maybe it's just the camera angle. I mean, when we were kids, if we had access to one of these, think of all the twisted stuff we would have made, like. Sphinxes or 3D printers? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I mean, I'd be, I'd be making some some six arm GI Joe men. Why don't we have one? Do, what, let's get one. Let's get one here at the office. I think it would just be a huge distraction from everybody's tasks. We'll call it the plastic pleasure machine. <laughs> you're catching up on me. I got I, I gotta I, start trying. Yeah, yeah, you're trying. You keep right. trying. Hmm, purple. What, what in that? the crap? Uh, uh, I think it's Darth Vader. Correct. Ah, <laughs> shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many points did you get? I don't know if I, how many points I got on that one for that, though. Seven. Oh, <laughs> Link, hey, man, don't blow. I want you to win at this point. Because how it was, is this it, happening? It's so historic. It's so historic. There's something about, I'm not trying to blow my lead. It's just that, like, I get exhausted from being competitive. Uh, What's he looking at? You know, Up and to the right? He's looking off. All right, man. Dang it. What's happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, this is. Oh. What? Oh my gosh. Tokyo. Tokyo.
Now, did Joel make this specifically for us? I have to think so. He Thank did. You, okay, then you both get the points, and you both get the extra point because Boom. it's a custom. Wow! Item. Hey, that is nice. Good job. You want to keep that for your? Oh, don't break it. It's for plastic pleasure. It's not gonna break. You want to donate to something in honor of your tremendous comeback? I haven't come Guys, back again, yet. Again, we're just like showing you these, but yeah. Where's this gonna go on the mythical kitchen set too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm only winning by four points. All right, hit me. Oh my goodness. Uh, Rhett. Gollum. Incorrect. Ah! You know what? I, I thought it was Gollum too. Uh, what is, it's some sort of, what is that? Oh. Link. Two uh, points, Groot. Baby Groot. Yep. Dang it. I thought it was Gollum, man. I'm glad you were wrong. Okay. That's a, that's a good looking group. I mean, the power you have with this printer is that you can fill up your room with a lot of crap really quick. Um, okay, Link, one more round. You're up by six points. Your historic lead became a less historic lead. I still have a chance, but I gotta go early. I gotta go early. Man, okay, well, this is moving fast. Uh, oh, what? A giant blue. What is that? What is that? Uh, 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 uh. Cotton candy, Randy. <gasps> Correct. <laughs> and then you also get a bonus point. But how many? How many points did he get? Look at that. Eight points. Eight points. <laughs> Dang it! No! Eight points. No! Eight points for the win for the historic comeback. Absolutely unbelievable. One for the ages. <laughs> Do I get points for predicting this loss? Oh, that was so much fun, Eddie. Hey, you know what we get to do now? We get to do a time-lapse kiss. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I'm gonna blow you a kiss in time-lapse fashion. Do you want me to catch it with my hand? Yeah, you just catch it. So we're gonna act like this was a kiss that took a year to make and we got a couple of intervals, then we took pictures, like me realizing that I, I thought I might wanna kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> and then me realizing that I should probably blow him a kiss. And then bringing my hand up, bringing up a little bit more, taking a deep breath. <gasps> and then blowing it. And then you cut it. You forgot to do the kiss part, so you're just blowing him air. Oh. <laughs> take it, take it, back up. Hands coming up. <laughs> then deep breath. <sighs> then I blow it. <sighs> then you cut it. <laughs> You're just doing slow motion things now. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't tell me what to do. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There was that was it. All right. Thanks you know, for subscribing it, and letting me win. <laughs> it feels good to lose actually. I feel right at home. I feel like I'm snug as a bug in my Loser up. Oh, and, and thanks to Joel. Those were awesome. Go check out his channel, Wild Rose Builds, on YouTube right now. Yeah, thank you, Joel. Click that bell. Did we say that? Uh, I said half of it. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Claudia. And I'm Mitchell. And we're at Tokyo Dome City. Whoa! And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's good. I bet you kept going. <laughs> Click that link to watch us guess what's gonna pop up in some 3D pop-up cards. 3D, 3D and good physical form. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality's gonna land. Put us up on your wall, y'all. Rent and link posters are available now at mythical.com.